That was probably the worst, the worst time ever, is flying into America as an African during the Ebola crisis. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in an airport. You'd walk in, there'd be tension, they'd usher everybody into a special quarantine area, ask you questions, questions that they don't normally ask. The number one question they always ask was, sir, have you been in contact with Ebola? They'd always ask, sir, have you been in contact with Ebola? I love, the, I love the sincerity of the question. Like there was a chance my answer could be yes. And next stop, Disney World. Like, like what kind of person do you think I am that I'd still be embarking on a journey having knowingly been in contact with the most deadly disease on the planet? Like who do you think I am that I'd be there like, <coughs> I don't care. Booking.com has a zero refund policy. I'm going to Disney World, even if it kills me, Mickey Mouse, and everybody else, I'm going. <laughs> Have you been in contact with Ebola? And they always said that like Ebola was like a distant relative. I love the phrasing. <laughs> Have you been in contact with Ebola? Yeah, I spoke to him last week. He's doing well, eh? <laughs> Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> Ebola made flying a nightmare. Because Ebola was one of the craziest things I've ever seen in terms of the human condition. How quickly we're taught to panic. One minute I'd be flying, I'd see people of Middle Eastern descent getting pulled, you know, random selections, beeping through the machine. And then Ebola happened, and all of a sudden the focus shift. Focus shifted, and now it was Africans getting pulled aside, Africans waiting. Middle Easterners were cruising through security. <laughs> and then almost as quickly as it started, it flipped back overnight. And I'll never forget when it happened right after the Charlie Hebdo attack in Paris. That attack happened, and almost the next day, Ebola wasn't a thing anymore. <laughs> Middle Easterners were back in the spotlights. Normal service had been resumed. Because <laughs> after Charlie Hebdo, I would walk through airports and no one gave a damn. They didn't care about me, where I was from, nor the bananas in my bag. <laughs> I just, I just cruised through security. Charlie Hebdo, terrorist attack in France. Everyone led with it, CNN, breaking news, terrorists have attacked Charlie Hebdo headquarters. BBC, and in breaking news, unconfirmed reports are saying 12 people have been killed by terrorists who have attacked. Everyone said they were terrorists. It was weird to me, because we didn't know that they were terrorists. We just knew that they were Middle Eastern. But immediately we went to terrorists, because if you're Middle Eastern, that's a terrorist. That's the world we live in now. Yeah, if you're Middle Eastern, Terrorism is your trademark. It's so crazy how easy it is to get people to hate a group of people, because that's what happened. Charlie Hebdo, and then everyone started saying things about Muslims. These damn Muslims, these damn, we gotta stop Islam. That's what we gotta do. We gotta stop these Islamists, these Muslims. Now, I'm not saying all Muslims are terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really smart, doesn't it? It sounds really smart. Yeah, but it's not, it's stupid and it's hate speech. That's what it is. It really is.